I stare at this girl. I stare unafraid because her eyes downcast hide pain from her past. Most could just pass without a pause. I stare at this girl who would never stare the same way because raising her eyes would mean risking rejection from people who betray and cause pain that leaves stains on her heart. I stare at this girl who stands all alone. She carries thoughts and wisdom nobody would have known because nobody has ever cared to hear her, love her, value her. Unseen, untouchable, unlovable. This girl stands silent, unable to speak because she had lost her will to dream. Passed by and ridiculed, left as a fool, a castaway, lost at sea. Her face is a marble mask, solid and cold, yet her eyes are the depths of a dark ocean. I stare at this girl. And she is just waiting for someone to hear her, to know she can speak and be heard, for someone to take her by the hand to accomplish things she never thought she could, for someone to stand by her side and never hide their face from hers, for someone to be there for her. But you see, nobody is ever brave enough to rescue these people hiding in their graves of silence and fear. No more imagination or constellations. No one has the patience to be the salvation to one of God's beautiful creations. I mean, what would people say if they saw you talking to her? What if you actually had to give up some convenience to make a difference? But no. See, we all go on with our lives not caring that one in six take raises to their skin wishing someone would see their sorrow. Or one in five hungry hearts are horrified to eat because their bodies don't match models on TV. One in twelve tries to end their living hell and just give up. These girls shuffle silently invisible ghosts of whom they once were or who they could be, but we hide behind our Bibles and perfect lives as if we cannot see them. Oh well, it's not me. We forget that love thy neighbor means reaching out a helping hand. The good Samaritan cared for the Jew, but we forget to care for each other. We walk with these heads held high, but forget the meaning of redemption. I stare at this girl in the mirror, into the looking glass of my past. I remember the times I felt unseen, untouchable, unlovable. And I can still feel the strain of lifting my eyes through the pain. I stare at this girl. She is me, my sister, my friend in this world where we seem all alone. So this is for the shy, lonely, scarred, unholy. Keep her down or lift her up. I reach out my hand and she takes it.